Lauren Williamson and this is Aids to Nap. Welcome to the season finale. As humans, we're natural seekers. We seek necessities like food and water or a job and a place to live. But we also seek things that we want, like video games or time with friends. Nothing I've said so far probably comes as a surprise, but how often do we actively seek what we know will truly bring us life? It turns out that what we seek shows a lot about where our minds and hearts are at and what we treasure. Jesus knows this well. Let's turn to John chapter 1, verse 38. John the Baptist was in the wilderness with his disciples, and he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. Turning, turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you see? Jesus does not say, Hey, what are you doing? Or, How's it going? Where are you headed? In his classic way of getting to the point, Jesus cuts to the heart of the matter and says, What do you see? These are Jesus' first words in the Gospel of John. These are words that John wants us to remember. Throughout the Gospels, Jesus confronts people about who or what they seek. He does this out of love, as he came to earth so that we might have life and have it abundantly, as said in John 10. So much is vying for your attention from the moment you open your eyes in the morning to the moment you lay your head down on the pillow at night. This world is desperate to capture your attention, but more importantly, your mind and your heart. What we actively seek has a direct correlation with what we come to treasure. We consistently seek after things like entertainment, qualifications, or promotions. These will distract us from our time alone with God, and we will treasure it more than ever. It's easy to do because that's what the world tells us to do, but it doesn't lead to life. Instead, if we seek Jesus, His person, His character, and His promises, we will be filled with the fruits of the Spirit, we will come to know Him better, and by extension, we'll be able to serve His people better. God said to the people of Israel in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13, Seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This applies to us as well. When we make him our heart's goal and our priority, we will find him. Guaranteed. Previously in Matthew 6, Jesus makes it known that he can provide for the necessities we seek, whether it be food or clothes or shelter. He says we're supposed to trust him for these and seek him first and watch his provisions fall. This message is especially important as the summer draws near. Being out in the world and missing fellowship with the OCF community can be tough and it can be easy to choose other things over time with God, church, prayer, and worship. But it is even more important to seek the Lord when we're removed from community, and it becomes more of our own responsibility. Going to Bible studies, fellowship, and church can become part of the weekly routine, but when you're alone, seeking the Lord becomes an act of choice. So maybe you're headed to a station, a cutter, or an internship this summer. Maybe you'll be a cadre at the academy. Maybe you're going into the fleet as an ensign. Or maybe you're a civilian like me and can choose to spend your time a little more independently. No matter what, each day you have a choice about what or who you're seeking. Seek the well that never runs dry, the good shepherd, the Lord. He can be trusted and he will never lead you astray. Remember, God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him.